Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've touched base but just wanted to update you on my design journey. Um, so you may remember we were designing a garment to go with the skirt and we had done some swatching and come up with some designs and we were going for this design here. And we were going to feature this eyelet type um, bind off down the shoulder seam. So, um, in the end I went with a lovely lace weight yarn uh, by Prosper Yarns called Goddess. It's a merino mohair mix and the merino, uh, the mohair is a really strong fibre so it lends itself well to a transparent garment. Uh, and this is how far I've got. So I've knitted the body of the garment. I have as yet to sew the under seams, underarm seams and side seams. And we've got this lovely eyelet detail that's going down the shoulder seam. Just hold that up here. So I'm really pleased with how that turned out. Um, just a couple of challenges. The first was trying to find an orange which was the contrast colour that I wanted to use that went with the fabric. So you can see the orange more clearly on the reverse side of the fabric. And I had thought it was a neon orange, but clearly it wasn't. Um, and in the end, I found my solution with embroidery threads. Um, so this is a range of threads by Gumnut Yarns, which is an Australian yarn company. And they have a range called Poppies, and it's 50% wool and 50% silk. And the silk has a gorgeous sheen and is also very strong. I uh, ended up going for the darker um, colour of the range that I had got. But uh, as you can see, there would have been several different options there. Um, I'm really excited by the... Uh, potential uses that this uh, eyelet type bind off could have in a garment and I could really see a, a jumper where you've got rows of these eyelets in different shades you could have a transitioning effect or an ombre effect so I think I'm going to be using this feature a little more in some, um, some of my other knitting uh, the other challenge was trying to get the right size needle for the bind off. So when you knit um, the contrast colour, your stitches are lying vertically, but when you bind them off, the stitches are lying horizontally. And if I used a needle that was too small, I found that the, um, the shoulder seem puckered because the gauge was too tight. If I used a needle that was too large, although the gauge looked okay, the stitches themselves were a little too loose and floppy. So uh, it took me about four, four different goes to get the right needle size, but we got there in the end. So that's where I've got to. Uh, my next step is uh, having a play around with the facings. Now, unfortunately, there was only one skein in New Zealand of this particular shade, so it limits uh, how much I can use it in the design, but I'm just going to go with it. I'll be doing some knitted on facings and having a play around and seeing whether the, if I use a contrast colour in them, whether it will be detracting or not. So I'll expect to have that finished in about two weeks' time and I'll touch base with you then with the finished garment. Hope everyone's keeping well. Take care everyone. Bye.